Yo ho, yo ho, drink up me hearties, yo ho. <laughs> hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. I am in fact wearing a shirt. It is just a off the shoulder shirt, so it's a little low. Moving on. Today's video is on the new Lorac. Is it Lorac or Lorac? Because I always say Lorac and everyone else says like Lorac. But I think it's Lorac. The Pirates of the Caribbean palette. Oh! I'm so excited about this. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. My favorite is the third. A lot of people would disagree with me on that one. <laughs> I actually, when I first started watching them, like the first one I think I was a little too young. I think it came out in like what? 2002 and I was only like what? 10? But anyways, I saw the second one first and I was like, wow, Captain Jack Sparrow is really cool. And then I think I saw the first one. And I was like, wow, I really, really love this. And then the third one is my favorite. Just because, like, Will and Elizabeth get together. The fourth one is, like, forgettable. I don't know. Me and my dad even went to go see it at the midnight showing when it premiered. And it's not the best one. But I'm really excited for this next one. They said they're going back to, like, the roots. And Will and Elizabeth are in it, so... I'm so excited. Anyway, back to the palette. I love Pirates of the Caribbean, so I was so excited when I saw this on Lorax page, and I was like, I have to get that. I swatched the, the cheek palette, and I swatched the lipsticks, and they're all super pretty, but I couldn't justify buying them because I have other stuff similar, or I probably just won't wear it. But this palette, I was like, I have to just, I have to get it. Um, I think the palette was $52, if I can remember correctly. It's like a pretty good size. It's like a compass. You know, with Captain Jack's compass, it points to what you want most. If you guys didn't know that. <laughs> Open it up, and it has a really big mirror. Good mirror. And it has 18 shades inside. And it comes with a black liner pencil down here. And you could totally probably put, like, a brush in here. What I noticed is it has this little secret compartment over here. So right here, it says Uncharted Brilliance. And you open it up, and it's, like, literally a secret compartment that you could, like, put something inside. Yeah, that's so cool. You could just, like, tuck something in there. I'm obsessed. I'm going to show you guys some swatches up next, and after that, I'm going to show you the tutorial on these eyes. So if you would like to see both of those, then please keep on watching. Alright, so let's jump into this eye look. I have in Masaki Lenses Pro Series Gold to make my eyes look green. And to start off, I'm taking Kat Von D's Wolf Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and I am applying this to my lid. And then I am blending that out with my Luxie Tapered Blending Brushes. I'm using two of them. So first, blending that out and then I'm going to take a cleanish one and help diffuse the edges. This is just gonna be my eyeshadow base. Then I'm taking bones from the palette with my MAC 217 brush and I am placing this in my crease as a transition shade. And then I'm taking Matey on my Morphe R40 brush 
and going over the brow bone area and then making sure that other shade is nice and diffused. Next I'm taking Tell No Tales with my MAC 239 brush and I am placing this in my crease in outer third and inner third of my eye. And of course going in and blending with my 217. Next I'm taking Menace on my Zoeva 231 brush and I am placing this on the outer third and inner third of my eyelid. Then I'm taking the 239 and going over the edges and then blending with the MAC 217 brush. Next I'm taking Black Pearl which is a beautiful duochrome shade on a flat paintbrush which I have wet with some eye drops and I am applying this to the center of my eyelid. And then I'm taking ARG on my Makeup Forever 216 Dome Brush and I'm just going over and layering that on the inner and outer thirds of my eye just so that shimmer kind of transitions. And then I'm taking Sea Haze on the Seam Brush and placing that on the very center of my eyelid. Next I'm taking a Luxie 213 brush with more of Kat Von D's Wolf Liquid Lipstick and placing this on my lower lash line. Then blending with a slightly bigger brush to make sure there's no harsh edges. Then I'm going to be taking the liner that came in the palette and placing this in my waterline and slightly on my lower lash line. And of course tight lining my upper waterline. Then I'm taking that Luxie 213 brush and blending that out. And I'm taking ARG again on the same Makeup Forever 216 brush and placing that on my lower lash line. Some blending. Then I'm taking Sea Haze again, this time on a Zoeva 230 pencil brush and placing this on the inner corner. And then I'm taking a bit of Silver Mist and placing that over top. Next I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner and going across my lash line. And then I'm going to be applying Velour Lashes in Strip Down. And this is the finished eye look. All right, so this is the finished look. For my lips, I went in with Heidi D Cosmetics MLP02. Doesn't really have like a fancy name. I actually got this at iMats, um, and it's like a, it kind of looks like um, Lime Creme Cashmere, but it has like, you know, I feel like when I look at this, it just screams maple. I don't know. They should name it Maple. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you'd like to see more looks using this palette, then please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!